Hi, this is Matt here with Hey Press Nerdy Turn, and uh, this is my first video in my Cinema 4D Quick Tip series. So um, basically, every Saturday, I'm going to be bringing out a new video to help you along the way with Cinema 4D. Um, in other news, I've got a new microphone, so compared to my other tutorials, this should sound really clear. Alright, so, this uh, this tutorial, it's going to be on making holes in things. Which sounds pretty simple, but uh, it's a good thing to use, because you can like adapt it to more complex things. So, if I head on into Cinema... Um, I'm going to change the res resolution to 1280 by 720 which is what I usually use. Um, I'm going to get a cube and a cylinder. And I'm going to change the orientation of the cylinder. So if you click here uh, you get different views and you can change these views by uh, clicking on cameras and going here. But it won't go in the right view or the top view, it doesn't really matter. So you can see that the cylinder is the exact same length as the cube. So, if you want to make the hole all the way through, click on the little circle and drag it bigger than the cube, okay? So, if we go up here and we go to bool and drag both these objects into the bool until the arrow goes down like that, and click here, you can see that it's inverted, okay? But to change this around, you just need to switch these two objects around. So, drag it until the arrow goes to the side, okay? So, you can see that it's made a perfect uh, hole all the way through the cube. But if you want it to only go halfway through, click back on this view and just drag, click on the cylinder and drag it only halfway through the cube. Just like that. So if we go back in here, you can see it's only made the hole halfway through. Okay. Um, and this way is much better than using any other way because if we delete a side of this cube, okay, if we make it editable, if we go to the top and select that, you can see that the cube is totally hollow. But if we use a bool, we can make holes which have sides and everything, so it's much better, okay? So that's the end of the tutorial. And as you can see, more videos are popping around the side, and these are just some of my past videos. So um, yeah, just have a look at them and subscribe. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.